Now that Lenovo P2 has Android N, I'm completely aware that many of you are waiting for a tutorial on how to do the device on Android N. And here it is. If you love tech videos and do not mind honest reviews, make sure you hit the subscribe button and do not forget to click on the bell icon for when there are any exclusives that you don't want to miss. Hey guys, I'll be here and you're watching TechSplicit. Let's get started. I highly recommend that you watch the complete video once before you start working on your phone. After you get an idea of all the requirements, it would be much easier for you to root the device. I also want to add that rooting is risky and when not performed in the correct way, there are high chances of boot looping or breaking your device. So start the process at your own risk and having said that, I have provided the links in the description below for all the files that I'll be using in this video. The first requirement is to unlock the bootloader by going to settings, about phone, and clicking on the build number till it says you're now a developer. So this unlocks the developer mode. Once you're done with it, go back and select developer options and click on the OEM unlocking. It'll take 14 days for Lenovo to unlock the bootloader. Once the bootloader is unlocked, the next step is installing custom recovery on your device. Install the minimal ADB drivers on your computer and download the TWRP image file and rename the file to recovery and paste it in the location where ADB is installed. That is basically in the ADB directory. Switch your phone into fast boot mode by pressing and holding the volume down and power button simultaneously until the phone boots into fast boot mode. Now connect your phone to the computer and launch minimal ADB fast boot. Type the command fast boot flash recovery recovery dot IMG as it is shown in the video. Once that is done and it is successful, type fast boot recovery recovery dot IMG. Now, if your phone boots to recovery, it means that the installation is successful. The most important thing that you need to do now is taking a backup. Always remember to backup before making any changes to the phone whatsoever. If there is no backup, the device cannot be recovered if it is boot looped by any chance. Once backup is finished, reboot the phone into system and install PHHS app from Play Store as it is shown in the video and download the Super SU zip to the phone from the link that is provided below. Now you need to reboot your phone into recovery mode by pressing the volume up and down buttons and the power button simultaneously until the phone restarts. Once you're in recovery, select the install option and navigate to the path where you downloaded the Super SU file and install it. Once installed, reboot the phone and that's it. The phone will now have root access. The same can also be checked by installing the root checker app and granting the permissions that it asks for. While following this procedure, if the phone for some reason is stuck in boot loop, you can restore the data that you backed up earlier and repeat the same process again. So this is briefly the procedure for routing Lenovo P2 on Android N. I've routed my phone with the same procedure and I've been using it for some time now. It works pretty well. And stay tuned for the tutorial on installation of the Diodex stock Android N firmware, which in my opinion is better than the stock ROM. So that's it for this episode. Like the video, share and do not forget to subscribe to get updated as soon as a new video is live on TechSplicit. This is Abi, over and out.